Thrombosis, as one of the complications of the present pandemic, is related to the omnivorous pattern in general, and to animal fats in particular, especially if they are fried or baked. And we have observed the same with fried and baked vegetable fats. High cholesterol and triglyceride levels will increase the risk of dying from coronaviruses. What we had stated as a scientific hypothesis on March 30, 2020, has unfortunately become a disastrous reality. As of April 12th, and until today, the United States of America occupies first place worldwide in the number of deaths from COVID-19, with more than 60,000 deaths and first place worldwide in the number of infections. The action of COVID-19 goes far beyond respiratory disease, causing systemic inflammation of blood vessels in multiple organs, far beyond pulmonary pneumonia. Hypothesis There is a direct relationship between the daily consumption of foods of animal origin, especially animal fats and vegetable fats, both fried and baked, with the presence of pulmonary and cerebral thrombosis, in addition to the affectation of other vital organs, liver, intestine, heart, and kidneys. The scientific journal The Lancet, April 21, 2020, reported the work of a group of researchers from the University Hospital of Zurich, Switzerland. COVID-19 causes a systematic inflammation of the blood vessels of practically all the organs of the human body. That is, the coronavirus causes diseases that go far beyond pulmonary pneumonia. It is a disease that causes numerous cardiovascular problems and, therefore, a large number of failures in the functioning of vital organs. For the time being, attention has been focused on pulmonary and cerebral thrombosis, but in reality, they can occur in any organ. In the first phase of the pandemic, there was talk only of respiratory problems caused by the coronavirus. Later, attention was focused on the inflammatory process caused by the virus. Now, it is thrombosis and venous thromboembolism, especially in severe patients who have been admitted to intensive care units. It has been observed that alterations in coagulation are inherent to all coronavirus diseases. So far, 25% of patients present pulmonary thromboembolism, according to Dr. José Antonio Paramo, president of the Spanish Society of Thrombosis and Hemostasis. Therefore, all patients hospitalized for COVID-19 are systematically given heparin, an anticoagulant to prevent thrombosis. If they still form thrombi, then the dose of heparin is increased. The information came to us from Eva Corada, Madrid, special edition of La Razón de España. We have been handling the hypothesis that it is fundamental to consider the nutritional models to explain the behavior of pandemics and diseases that mainly affect humanity. We have concluded, after 40 years of research, that the ideal diet of the human species is the herbivorous model based on the consumption of fruits, vegetables, raw and fresh oil seeds and water. Thus, it is to interpret and explain the complications that we observe in the development of diseases, a diet rich in animal fats and fried and baked vegetable fats have been aggravating the evolution of the disease and therefore hindering the recovery and increasing the number of deaths. We have several data of families where they have been infected with COVID-19 and where there is a vegan. As Mr. Juan Gutierrez tells us, one of them who is vegan did not even get a cold. Multiple cases of those who know the effects of the toad weed from the University Program of Medicinal Plants of Chapingo, PC300, as Mr. Juan Raúl Gil Frías let us know, Besides the medication, we are applying PC300 to many serious COVID-19 patients, with very good results in a few days. This herbal formula, developed by us, has as its main ingredient Eryngium heterophyllum, a plant that dissolves clots, mainly of fats, which cause pulmonary and cerebral venous thrombosis, 
and Amphipterigium astringens for its anti-inflammatory effect. The omnivorous model of feeding, wrong in humans, causes many more deaths than any pandemic. The World Health Organization announced that in 2019 died of cancer in the world 9,490,000 people, which yields 26,000 deaths per day. That is, all the deaths by COVID-19. In 100 days, more than 220,000, equivalent to 8 days of deaths from cancer. That is, it is much more pandemic cancer than coronavirus. And deaths from cancer are not news. And they are not news because the first cause of death is the omnivore model, mainly red meat and sausages. The level of social awareness is such that the World Health Organization announced in October 2015 that based on 800 scientific investigations, it is concluded that the consumption of red meat is a cause of cancer in humans, and in the following years, sales and consumption of meat increased. The deaths caused by COVID-19 in India, a country with more than 1,300 million inhabitants, more than 10 times the population of Mexico, and less deaths and less infected than in our country, is very striking. In India, unlike the rest of the countries, red meat is not consumed, since cows and bulls are sacred animals. The massive use of the homeopathic medicine, arsenic at 30 centesimal, for 3 days every 30 days, during the pandemic also calls the attention, and of its herbal medicine, the frequent use of neem leaves in decoction as a broad-spectrum antimicrobial. The omnivorous model applied in the United States is aggravated by the consumption of processed and ultra-processed, fried, baked, frozen and junk foods, which allows predicting that they will continue to be the first in the world in both infections and deaths caused by COVID-19. Hypothesis. To the extent that modern cultures transition from the omnivorous cultural model to an herbivorous, biological model, we will cease to be the sickest species on the planet. The consumption of medicines would be reduced by at least 90% and surgeries would be reduced by the same percentage. We would get out of the collapse of the health secretariat. We would begin a new era, free of diseases. For those interested in the subject, you can order the book The Herbivore Model, 470 pages at ericestradal at prodigy.net.mx and arilestradaguzman at gmail.com Telephone 595 9546419 and the website www.ericestrada.com.mx